analysis of single line to ground fault now we are going to see the steps involved in the analysis of single line to ground fault in power system so the first step is draw the diagram of three phase generator model representing the fault so here the fault will be a single line to ground fault step 2 write the basic equation required to analyze this fault step 3 consider symmetrical component of current or sequence current step 4 consider symmetrical component of voltage from the sequence network of generator step 5 consider the phase voltage step 6 find the positive sequence current ia plus step 7 find the fault current if and the final step step 8 draw the sequence network these are the eight steps using which we are going to analyze the single line to ground fault step 1 draw the diagram of three phase generator model representing the fault so here is a single line to ground fault this type of fault is a most common type of fault 70 percentage of the fault occurred in power system is of this type of fault and this is caused by a lightning or a conductors making contact with grounded structures consider a three phase generator model it has a induced dm of ea and the self impedance zs similarly for other two phases and you will be having a neutral current and neutral impedance consider a fault occurs at phase ea and which is connected to ground so from a phase to ground there is a single line to ground fault so and this a phase to ground will be having a fault impedance the fault current is grounded through the fault impedance ezf and the voltage across that ezf is va so this is the diagram which represents the fault point step 2 write the basic equation required for this fault analysis considering the three phase generator model with the fault location here we are considering the fault occurs at a phase so ia current is flowing as a fault which is short circuited to the ground so ia is equal to if and next one is the remaining two phase current ib and ic this is will be equal to zero ib and ic are zero and third one voltage across the faulted phase va will be equal to the current flowing through this path into the impedance at this path the impedance is zf the current flowing through this is ia so ia into zf or if into zf that is your va so these are the three equations consider as a basic equations va equal to zf into ia and ib and ic equal to zero and the fault current if equal to ia now the third step considering symmetrical component of current so symmetrical component of current can be represented like this ia naught ia plus ia minus that will be equal to the t inverse matrix transformation inverse matrix into ia ib and ic so now we are going to substitute the first equation that is ib equal to ic equal to zero in this matrix substituting ib equal to zero and ic equal to zero now by expanding this matrix ia naught equal to 1 by 3 into ia ia plus equal to 1 by 3 into ia and ia minus equal to 1 by 3 into ia by seeing this we can conclude that ia naught is equal to ia plus that is equal to ia minus and that will be equal to 1 by 3 into ia or ia by 3 and from first equation we know that this ia is equal to if we can represent like this and this is your equation 4 now next step fourth step considering symmetrical component of voltage from the sequence network of generator so it can be represented like this from the sequence network of generator the symmetrical component of voltages are va naught va plus va minus and that will be equal to 0 ea 0 minus the z matrix into ia naught ia plus and ia minus so in this equation only in the induced emf path only the positive sequence value alone present since under balance condition the negative and zero sequence components are zero now expanding this matrix va naught equal to 0 minus z naught into ia naught as you know ia naught is equal to ia plus representing this in ia plus term we are equating this to minus z naught into ia plus and the second term va plus equal to ea minus z plus into ia plus and third term 0 minus z minus into ia minus and ia naught is equal to ia plus that is equal to ia minus so ia minus can be replaced with ia plus so this will be equal to minus z minus into ia plus and this is your fifth equation next step fifth step considering the phase voltages so phase voltage can be represented as VA, VB, VC, all the three phases that will be equal to the T matrix, the transformation matrix into VA naught, VA plus, and VA minus. Expanding this matrix, and here we are considering the fault occurs at A phase. So we are going to write only the A phase voltage. So VA equal to VA naught, VA plus, and VA minus. 
no need of this VB and BC, you are considering only the faulted line and that is your seventh equation. Now at step 6, you are going to find the positive sequence current IA plus. So from equation 1, you are going to consider this VA voltage equal to ZF into IA from equation 1 and from equation 7, this VA will be equal to VA naught plus VA plus plus VM. Now we are going to equate this to, so ZF IA that will be equal to VA naught plus VA plus plus VA minus. Now we are going to substitute the equation 5 in equation 8. So this is your equation 8. And now from the fifth equation, we are going to take this VA naught, VA plus and VA minus and we are going to substitute over here. So substitute equation 5 and 8. So from fifth equation, we got the VA naught equal to minus Z naught into IA plus and the VA plus equal to EA minus Z plus IA plus minus VA minus equal to Z minus into IA plus. And we know that IA plus equal to IA divided by 3. So using that, instead of this IA, I am going to replace with 3 into IA plus. So IA equal to 3 into IA plus. And this side, keep EA as, as it is and minus taking IA plus as common from these three terms. So you will be getting Z0 plus Z plus plus Z minus. Taking minus as common, you will be getting this expression. And bring all the IA plus term to one side. So IA plus into Z0, Z plus, Z minus. And all this uh, term comes to the left hand side. It become plus. And already 3 into ZF term is there in the left hand side. So that comes here. And in the right hand side, only EA term alone present. So from this you can determine IA plus equal to EA divided by the whole term Z0 plus Z plus plus Z minus plus 3 into ZF. This is your equation 9. Now step 7, find fault current. From equation 4 we know that IA0 equal to IA plus equal to IA minus that will be equal to IA by 3 that is equal to IF by 3. So from this equation you know the value of IA plus and you are going to find IF. So IF by 3 equal to IA plus. So IF equal to IF equal to 3 into IA plus. So from this uh, fourth equation we derived like this IF equal to 3 into IA plus and you know IA plus equal to EA divided by Z0 plus Z plus plus Z minus plus 3 into ZF. Just now we derived in ninth equation. Substituting that you will be getting the fault current. And now the last step, step 8, draw sequence network. So sequence network from the equation 4 and 5 and from the fault current equation, we know this network consists of a positive sequence, negative sequence and zero sequence all are connected in series. So fourth equation IA0 equal to IA plus equal to IA minus and the fifth equation this VA0, VA plus, VA minus and the fault current equation also you can see it has all zero sequence, positive sequence and negative sequence. So using that you are going to draw the uh, sequence network which has all the three sequence network. So first we consider the positive sequence network. It has an impedance Z plus and for positive sequence we should represent the induced EM of EA and the current in the positive sequence is IA plus. So this is your positive sequence network followed by you will be having a negative sequence network. So this is represented as Z minus and followed by you will be having a zero sequence network and this zero sequence network is Z0 and Z0 value and you can connect this thing with the fault impedance. So here the fault impedance is 3 times Zf. Okay, current in the negative sequence is IA minus and the current in the zero sequence is IA0. Similarly, you can represent the voltage across uh, positive sequence is VA plus and uh, negative sequence is VA minus and zero sequence is VA naught. Okay, so here all the three sequence networks are connected in series and which is directly connected to this EZF. This is how you need to draw the sequence network of a single line to ground fault. And here this EZ naught can be represented as EZS plus 3 EZF. So this is how you need to draw the sequence network. So this is the analysis of a single line to ground fault in the power system.